This review has been a long time coming because of my internet, so before we even start with the video, I want to apologize to the author. He sent me the book for review, and I'm just now getting this review shot and uploaded, so my apologies to him. Thank you so much for the review copy. On with the review. Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. Today we are talking about Michael Brent Collings, Stranger Still. Uh, the first thing that I want to talk about with this book is something I had no idea when I signed up for an ARC. Uh, the author approached me and said, hey, look, you know, I, I wear big boy pants. I want you to review my stuff. Be brutally honest. And I, I like the cut of his jib, so I said yes. Um, I do not take review requests normally, but he did such a good job approaching me that I was, I was honored to take the book. Um, honored to try to read the book. But, uh, yeah, this one follows... Uh, the, like I was saying, before we even get started, this is a sequel or a continuation to his book, Stranger, from what I've read from other reviews. I had no idea, and the reason why I'm bringing this up at the beginning of the review is because I want to let you guys know that, so you grab that one first, in case you don't watch the entire video. The, the problem with that is, and the reason why I knocked off a star is, I had no idea the other book even existed. I mean, that's not a huge issue, but in this one, I felt like I was missing something. Whether or not I was or not, I felt like I was missing something. So that is my one criticism. But I went back and I read other reviews, and other people were saying this, this was a continuation of his book, Stranger. And I will be going back uh, and checking that one out. Uh, a message to the author, I am now a fan of your work, so I will be checking out as much as I possibly can. No need to send me any more ARCs. I want to support you. I will buy the rest of them. Um, so th this one, right off the bat, right off the jump, uh, you meet uh, Legion, uh, who has some quirks. <laughs> the, the back and forth between Legion and his, well, not Legion, but I get, I'll call it his brothers. I'm trying not to spoil anything. But the back and forth between Legion and his brothers is a lot of fun, if a mite repetitive. Um, you get to the point where it's like, okay, we understand who they are, just cut it back. And around that time, what I mean by cut it back is that like he, he gives like this a bigger name than there should be. I, I don't want to spoil anything for you because I want you to read it for yourself. But then he chops it down to just a one word, um, and the story flows much, much better after that point. Uh, the brutality and the violence is on point. There were several times in this book your boy cringed. Um, and I know all you guys are out there cringing right now because I said your boy, but you'll be all right. At least there isn't a Raid Shadow Legends ad on this video, so hush. Okay, so, but this one is, it, it's just a lot of fun. I don't, I don't know how else to put it. Um, is it great literature? No. Is it a shit ton of fun? Yes, it is. It is, but it is well above, like, schlocky B-horror content. You do have that content, but you also have really well-developed characters. There are two that are very, very similar that kind of caught me off guard, because, well, I didn't really confuse them, but it was, but then it was explained why they are like that. Like, I don't think this is too much of a spoiler, but there's two characters in this uh, book who both name their guns after certain figures. Those figures are simul similar, um, and it I almost caused me to roll my eyes, but then he explains it. And every time that I felt like I was reading something where I didn't trust the author, the author would come up, and I'm calling him the author because I don't know whether or not to call him Michael or Michael Brent, and Michael Brent is a mouthful, so here we are. But the author, sorry, <laughs> I screw up everybody's names. Um, but with this, I, I trusted, I came to trust him. And the reason why I'm going to be going through his entire back catalog is because now I trust him. The book is very, very well edited. It is very clean. I'm not sure if it is an independent. It seems to be an independent release. It might not be. I apologize for not researching that beforehand. I'm trying to shoot a bunch of these videos all at one time, so my apologies. But uh, this one, the, the character development, like I said, was on point. There, there came a, a time... When I didn't like anybody in the book, and then I started liking certain ones again, I, I feel like that was intended by by the by the author. I do feel it was intended. I think the only person that I actually liked was the female lead. I finished this one ages ago. Um, it's been months since I finished the book, and I don't remember character names. I apologize. I've already listened to and read another 20, 30 books since then. Um, but this... 
it's a lot of fun. I, I honestly don't know how else to put that. The bonsai tree is a plus. Um, you'll know what I'm talking about when you read the book. I thought that, in fact, his characters reminded me a lot of Michael, uh, not Michael, <laughs> of Robert McCammon uh, in, in, that, in their quirks. Uh, there's one character in here especially that reminded me of the main, not the main character, but the character in Gone South, the one with the secret under his shirt. I don't want to get too far into it, but it, it reminded me of Robert McCammon. It's not as over, I don't want to say overwritten, it's not as wordy as a McCammon, but it defi the characters definitely felt very McCammon-ish. And I, I, I'd like to know, Michael Brent, Michael, what, what, is he an inspiration of yours? I know you're going to watch this. Is he an inspiration? I just want to know. But anyways, uh, this comes highly recommended for me. Maybe not my highest recommendation, but if you're looking for fun horror, th this this is a book for you. Um, I, uh, w once again, I just want to make sure you guys know that I got the book for free, but that did not color my, my review at all. There's been numerous books I've gotten for free that I've utterly trounced and destroyed here on the channel. Um, I hope that lends uh, some... I hope that gives you guys some kind of trust in me. But anyways, uh, this one, four stars, easy. Um, have you read this? Are you planning to read it? Let me know whether or not you liked it or not down there in the doobly-doo. If you did like it, let me know why. If you didn't like it, let me know why you didn't like it so we can have a discussion. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!